Hey, good afternoon, good day, good evening, wherever you are. Chester Axa here with Hot Jet USA, going to do a safety and operation on our twin cold 18 gallon per minute, 4,000 PSI. Uh, it's an entry level uh, unit. Uh, this one's going out to a, a municipality. But uh, before you uh, start to jet, a couple of things, safety glasses, gloves, make sure you got proper attire on to jet. You're dealing with high pressure, a lot of volume. So uh, you can get hurt, so pay attention to what you're doing. Make sure, uh, start, we're gonna start with the basics. Make sure you have water in the tank. No water in the tank means it's gonna suck air. Suck air means you're gonna have to purge your pump and we'll go over that. So back here on the, uh, where the hose reels are, our system comes with a bypass system. So that when you start your equipment, you don't have to worry about going through all the hose reels. It's going to bypass back into this tank. It's gonna start a little easier. So up to uh, start position. This is the bypass position or start position, you can call it, yes. Uh, you're gonna wanna you know, do a walk around, make sure your, you know, your tires are good, trailer's good. These are a manual start. Uh, we do have remote operation for those that don't want that, but these are manual. These are twin 35 Vanguards, great engine, 70 horsepower, general Emperor TSF pumps, bulletproof pumps, been a great pump. Both systems have jetter valves. I recommend uh, starting them with them off. It's a pulsation valve. Dual filter system. Check the filters. Make sure you don't have any debris or dirt in it. Just to make sure it's getting ready to run. Uh, you can see an oil level on this pump. It is halfway at the red dot. That is normal. Uh, so this system uh, is ready to go. You got your water tank. Handle pointing to the main tank means you're going to feed the system through that. If you turn this handle this way, you're now antifreezing. This is the main tank. This is the feed to feed these uh, filters. <clears throat> Big dual gun unloader on these systems. 21 gallon a minute, 5,000 PSI. Blow off relief valve, pressure relief valve, uh, rated up to 6,000 PSI. Uh, so we've done a walk around. We got water in the tank. This uh, unit's ready to go. They do have shutoffs on the gas tanks. Make sure they are in the on position. When you're done, you're going to drive home for the day or you're going to put some miles on it. Shut this valve off. Let the gas dissipate out of the carburetor. Uh, it prevents it from hydro locking. Uh, we haven't had any problems since we started doing this, so this works great. Pressure gauge on the head of the pump will read your head pressure. There is a pressure gauge back on the hose reel that will read your pressure back here on the hose reel. Soap valve, high pressure soap valve. You don't have to turn this on very much for you to draw soap. I say when you first start it, open it up, get it to, to prime a little bit, then you don't need much. Uh, big Hane reel, thumb reversing switch, two throttles back here for both of the engines, wash down hose, independent ball valves for each hose reel. Make sure they are in the off position before you start the machine. Make sure this is in the bypass before you start the machine. Work lights, tachometers. These engines run very true. If your tachometer is reading 2800 RPM, you're probably close to 3000 PSI. That's the beauty of these things. You can plug in a phone if you need to charge. And this thing's ready to fire up. We're going to have Mr. Mario help us. You want to put that down the drain. When you're going to jet, be sure you put that hose down the drain as far as you can by hand. Make sure if you're putting it down a large drain, you put a stinger on the end of that so the unit will not come back on you. <clears throat> so this one's ready to jet. We're going to fire it up. <clears throat> you may have to choke it if it hasn't been run. This motor's probably warm. We test everything. Every piece of equipment that we build is tested, fired here. engines running there is a strobe light that'll tell you the engines are running come back here you can uh, throttle up your engines from here you see your tachometers
This is now ready to go into the on position. I'm still making sure that my valves are off, just in case. Now both of your hose reels are live. We are now ready to jet. Ready? About 18 gallons a minute at 4,000 psi. We do have a slight correction, and I'll go over that when we're done watching this. Shut your jetter valve off. Put it into bypass mode. Throttle your, bypass. throttle your engines down. The corrections I need to make is I had this valve backwards. I apologize. This is the bypass mode. It's in the on position. Live is here. in the off position. So that's bypass. That's so when this you want to is warm bypass. This is when you want to warm it up and you're getting ready to jet. Again, on is bypass, off is jetting. We're going to go ahead and put this down the 12 inch line. 10 inch. We're now going into the jet mode. Hose reels are now live. Turn your throttle up a little bit. And we're jetting. is going to have about 20 pounds of pull on it so it's going to work for you again when you're done jetting shut your hose reel off put your system into bypass throttle down we're also going to go ahead and run this down a 12 inch line just so you can see the pull have a stinger on there but, uh, and we did mention before if you're going to put it down a bigger line you're going to put a six inch nipple behind that nozzle so it doesn't turn back on itself again we're getting ready to jet i turn my throttle up a little bit we're now at hose reels are live and we're jetting That's got quite a bit of pull, even in that 12-inch line. 18 gallons a minute, 4,000 psi. Jetting reel off. Bypass. Turn your throttles down. We're going to go ahead and put this down the 24-inch culvert, so you can just see the pulling power even inside of a bigger line. We're ready to jet, throttle up a little bit, switch your valve on, we're jetting. And so even on a 24 inch line, you've got quite a bit of pull. That's got the Warthog WS nozzle on it, hard working nozzle. over the wash down all of our jetters come with a sanitary wash down which is great for cleaning up after your job cleaning your equipment cleaning your fleet your trucks this is uh, part of what we do 
Same concept as jetting, where you're going to want your system in the bypass mode. Make sure your valve is off. Uh, this hose here on a twin system, you're going to probably you're going to run one machine. You don't need the 20 gallons a minute. You'll just need the 10 at four. Uh, so you just run one machine. Just okay. yeah, run one just motor, run cold motor. water motor. Quick connect on here for protection. Mr. Mario here helping us out. Pressure wash gun. So again, the same uh, basic, the same procedure. Make sure you got water in your tank. You know, make check the oil in your pump. Check your filters. You know, just uh, make sure uh, everything's uh, ready to roll. We're going to start with uh, this engine here. It's warmed up, ready to go. Motor running. Look for leaks as you walk back to the back end, just to make sure there aren't any. Throttle it up a little. Hose reels are now live. This hose reel is for this wash down hose. You ready, Mario? Yeah. That is doing, uh, that's a number nine nozzle, so you're doing close to 10 gallons a minute, 4,000 PSI. It's going to clean. Done washing, shut your hose reel valve off, put your system into bypass, throttle your motor down, come up and shut it off. And you're crystal clean. Thank you guys. Chester with Hot Jet. Any questions, give me a call 1 800 624 8186.